Hello and welcome to a housing ideas and tips video with Purple Rosa. In this video I am going to talk about something that I discovered while redecorating one of my older homes. It's not the house I'm currently in but I'm going to use this house as an example because the kitchen behind me is perfect for what I want to talk about. I've discovered that in most of my kitchens and the houses that I've put together I have shelving up like this and I've got smaller things on it to fill up the space which takes up about maybe 10 or more of your precious furniture slots. So right now I'm at 399 out of 400 in this house. Keep that in mind because when I show you what I'm going to do the furniture slots will come down which you can then use to put other furniture items in. So I've noticed as I said before in most of my kitchens I do something like this which takes up more space than you want it to. So there's one simple way that you can reduce your slots. So I'll get rid of this shelf, get rid of these two urns, I'll get rid of these fruit, I'll get rid of this corn basket, I'll get rid of that and I'll keep the meat out. So right there I've saved about seven furniture slots. What I'm then going to do is look at the wardrobes here. This is in the furniture crown store but I'm not going to purchase these. I'm just going to show you what I mean. So I've got rid of that shelving and the food there and in a kitchen I found the simple way to replace that shelving is by using a wardrobe because these wardrobes are a good size and you can use them as like a pantry to pretend that there's food and stuff in them for your kitchen. So there's many different styles of wardrobes and they are classed as wardrobes but they are more like cupboards to me some of these which you can use as a pantry type cupboard in your kitchen. So there's many styles to choose from. Most of these are craftable in the game. And yeah, they're good to use in a kitchen. So as I don't have any spare wardrobes on me, but I do have some here in my house that I can move. So as an example, you can move this red guard wardrobe here and you have your pantry and you can pretend there's those food items in there that I removed which was the oranges, tangerines, basket of corn, the known crux bowl which I use as spice bowls. So this meat hock I can then move there and basically all I've done is removed all that food and stuff I had on that orc shelf and just placed that wardrobe there and it still gives the illusion that it is a kitchen that is stocked with food and stuff. So I am now in my Eleanor Crest townhouse which has a similar setup to my Silent Magnifico house that you saw before. So I've got the Orcus shelving again as you can see with food items and that around it. I can easily save these furniture slots simply by removing this Orcus shelf. I will keep some of these sacks and that out because once you fill it out you can make it work. So I'll just remove these fruit items. I'll keep that one out. 
Remove these pumpkins. I'll remove this basket and that chest. I'll keep some of these out. So my furniture limit was actually at 600. I should have checked that first, but I know I was at max slots. So, so far I've gotten rid of eight items. I'll keep these out and we'll probably move some more stuff around, but I'll just show you the simplest way. So with that orcus shelving removed and some of those fruit items um, I do have some wardrobes now I just made some dark elf ones just to show you as an example so you can place these wardrobes down and then they can act as your food pantries for your kitchen and then you just move these barrels and stuff around to make your kitchen look cluttered and you can put items on top of these wardrobes as well just to give the illusion that your kitchen is busy and yeah then you can move these other items around and place them how you want to or even get rid of them if you want depends how you want to set up your kitchen area and get rid of that crate so i was at 600 furniture slots and now i'm at 590 so by removing those smaller food items i've saved 10 furniture slots that you can use for something else you can even if you want to add some of those smaller items back to make this storage area look more cluttered but with that orcish shelving gone you can already see that this kitchen looks a bit better and using these wardrobes as pantries you can then pretend that there's food items in them for your kitchen Using these wardrobes to replace shelving is a great idea in any house and it not only works in kitchens, it works in other areas of your house as I'll show you in my Amaya Lake Lodge which is the house I've been redecorating. So I've gotten rid of just some smaller items that I have had around. I'm nearly at max slot so I'm at 599. But because I've removed some smaller items, I've been able to replace it with like these wardrobes and dresses here to fill up this space more. And as I said with the kitchens before, you can pretend that these items are full of other items for roleplay reasons. What I mean by that is as this is the entrance doorway to the house this wardrobe could be used to put coats or shoes in and this dresser here could be used just to house general housing items you might put in there and in this room here that I've made I've got like a little office area for my banker which I'm pretending is my house butler so this would be where he would keep records of purchases and stuff and in this wardrobe I put here you can pretend there's like paper and other office type stuff in there and under here is like a storage area which I will expand upon but yeah this can be like where you keep household cleaning products so like towels or brooms or other things and up here I've also added more 
these are the actually the dark elf chest of drawers but there's other drawers and items you can use so you got the breast and have a chest of drawers so yeah the dark elf one there's an imperial one but that's only a crown store furniture one so don't get that but you find other drawers like this so you can use and just place around so I've put a wardrobe there just to fill up the space here they really work well to create the illusion that there's items in them and my kitchen here which has changed quite a bit as you're seeing now my older kitchen had the orcish shelving as well and I've put other smaller food items around so I got rid of that and replaced it with these dark elf wardrobes just to fill up the space and again they would be used as a pantry to store food items in with your kitchen and this one here would for roleplay reasons would have your dishes like your plates your bowls uh, cookware or whatever in it instead of like with my townhouse dining room as you can see here I put plates on the dresses but I can totally get rid of those plates get rid of those dresses and put maybe three of these wardrobes up which would save me using those four plates so I'd in the end be saving on four of my furniture slots because I got rid of those four plates that I had because I myself have fallen into the trap where I think that placing smaller items like those fruits and that that you saw before or other smaller furniture items around the house that make it look cluttered but you can instead of get rid of those smaller items and replace them with these chests of drawers or these wardrobes which in the end greatly helps you to maximize your furniture limit which will give you more furniture slots to use for other items that you want to put in your house so that's my words of wisdom in this video I do hope it helps you to look at your areas differently because I know that it has helped me greatly with my redecorated lake lodge here and I might go back to some of my other houses and re-evaluate them so I will see you around thanks for watching